Hello, I'm doing a review for Primal Carnage Extinction for the PlayStation 4. Now, I haven't really seen any reviews for this game. Um, definitely piqued my interest Tuesday when it came out in North America. You know, dinosaurs, uh, and, you know, after the Jurassic World movie came out on the same day on uh, Blu-ray and DVD. So I was definitely excited to try it out. Uh, price was a little steep, 20 bucks for an indie game. But, um, you know, eventually I caved in, even though impressions were negative. Uh, it seems like the PC community liked it. It's been on uh, PC for a while, and it's actually a sequel to uh, Primal Carnage. Uh, not to be confused with, like, uh, Primal Rage, <laughs> the classic arcade game from the 90s. Uh, this game's actually more like uh, Evolve than it is uh, a lot of other first-person shooters. You have one side that plays a squad of humans, and then another side that plays a squad of dinosaurs. Uh, each human and dinosaur has a different class, so you have like a, you know, a T-Rex who's more of like a tank and high DPS, uh, and then you have, you know, faster uh, classes such as the, uh, the the smaller raptor classes, and uh, the Dilophosaurus, which spits kind of like you could in Jurassic Park, even though obviously they didn't really do that. It's just kind of neat to have, and uh, you know, you got a, a pterodactyl classes to fly, and then on humans, you have um, you have a class that does a lot of close-range uh, shotgun. You have a sniper class. Uh, you know, you get the idea. Um, kind of like a tank class who just uh, fires a lot of bullets. Uh, so basically, the online uh, modes there's survival, there's get to the chopper, and uh, team deathmatch. And then there's a free roam. Free roams just as it sounds. You, know, you just kind of walk around. It's uh, like a sandbox. Uh, let's get to the uh, team Deathmatch is probably the mode with the most uh, players right now, and let's uh, be honest, on the PlayStation 4, there's not many players at all. So, um, you're kind of limited to what you can find through the server browser, and uh, the ping times are high. Uh, a lot of games have ping times over 100 milliseconds, so consider that if you're going to purchase this game. Um, and another problem is, is, is because it's online only, there's no bots. Uh, well, there are bots in survival mode, which is basically horde mode, but you'll want to play with uh, other people. Uh, it's a survival sports instance, five people, whereas uh, that team deathmatch supports uh, uh, 16, depending on the map. Some of them I've seen them as small as 10, and I think it's the chopper also supports 16 players. But here's the problem with all those games, they require other people, and uh, based on the price of the game, even though it is fun, and uh, you know, it's got kind of a bad reputation, it is definitely glitchy. Uh, sometimes hilarious, uh, other times uh, annoyingly so when it locks up your PlayStation 4. But um, because it's going to require an online community, I don't know how long it's going to last. So be forewarned if you're going to buy it, buy it soon. Because uh, uh, I think around the time Battlefront comes around, nobody's going to be playing this game. Um, so anyways, get to the, the, the modes. Uh, you got your team deathmatch, which you expect. Uh, you just got side picks a, a class, you know, whether you're a dinosaur or a, a humans in your class. And for instance, they can't be more than like one T-Rex or one large dinosaur. Uh, and that's obviously just that way it's somewhat balanced. Uh, definitely favors more in the side of uh, a dinosaur, but as I've been playing for a little while now, I, um, I definitely think humans are better than I thought they were. You can see in this video, I'm not very good in this, and I'm still not very good, but I've gotten better as I've played along. This is uh, the first few times I actually played. I just recorded it just because I wanted to get some footage out. Um, anyway, so... Uh, the dinosaurs are definitely, though, uh, favored in the game, uh, as to be expected, and it's a lot of fun to play as a dinosaur. There's clipping and some craziness, and like I said, random glitches in general. I had my guy one time fly, like, 500 feet in the air, and he survived it, <laughs> but then I died on the fall down, so... But, you know, there's some weird things, and it locks up your PS4, but, you know, overall, it looks okay, and, uh, it's fun, but the big issue, I think, is that everybody wants to be a dinosaur, nobody wants to be a human, so a lot of the times the teams aren't balanced, You'll have like three or four more dinosaurs, and actually, uh, if anything, we should be like one or two more humans than uh, than dinosaurs to keep it fun and fair. But you know, overall, it's it's still fun, and you know, it's not a real serious shooter. Uh, there is loot at the end of the end of the uh, match, and uh, it seems to be random, kind of like Destiny, but uh, it's mainly just like character customization stuff, not really big, uh, really all that important, and uh, nothing like really, I don't think it's even guns, it's mainly just like a, mainly cosmetic items, which I guess on the PC was, uh, people paid good money for, so, <coughs> at least that's, there's no um, online marketplace or anything like that within the game, which is nice, so it's just, uh, you know, random drops and customizations, I guess that's kind of cool on the PS4 compared to the PC, 
So it's got that going. Uh, graphically, it's a uh, you know it's got clipping as you can probably see, but it doesn't look horrible. It's uh, definitely not a technical showpiece, but yeah, it runs okay. I didn't see any real big frame rate issues like I read online, so I guess there's that going for it. And I do believe it actually is running in 1080p. I couldn't tell you what frame rate it's running in. I don't really care, but it's you know it's stable. It's above. It's 30 or above. I mean, it might be 60. It actually does feel pretty, uh, pretty fast, especially when you play as the, uh, the the Rapture classes where they run around. Um, so. Anyway, so I talked a little bit about Team Deathmatch. I want to talk a little bit about the other game modes real quick. Uh, you got your survival game mode, which is actually a little bit more than you would expect. Yeah, you got your horde mode, you know, where the guys come in and you take on wave after wave. It does get more challenging. For instance, the, uh, the raptors become invisible uh, as you're playing, so uh, that becomes really difficult. And you end up basically needing to have pyro classes, so that way you can see them when they're on fire. Uh, it, you really need to work together as a team of five. I haven't had anyone communicating on the mic, so you might want to play with people you know. I'm not even sure if there is team voice chat, to be honest with you. Uh, so, you know, the survival mode's a little bit different than a standard horde mode, but it's, you know what to expect. Uh, Get to the Chopper's probably the, the most fun uh, game mode. It's a uh, it's kind of like Team Deathmatch, so you have your teams, uh, you know, eight versus eight, hopefully, but mainly everybody's a dinosaur and three people, but the dinosaurs are basically protecting uh, these objective areas, and uh, the humans are trying to get to them, so you try to capture these objective areas as the humans to uh, eventually get to the chopper once you once you capture everything, you know, it's like to get gas and all that good stuff, uh, but really you just gotta hold it out like it's a, you know, you're, you're capturing an area and, and uh, you know, any domination like game mode from Call of Duty or something like that. Uh, it's, 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 it, but the problem is when you die, you, and this happens in any of the game modes uh, where there's other people against you, they kind of do spawn camp because you always respawn back at your camp and so you'll always uh, wake up to about two or three dinosaurs. Uh, it hasn't really a big problem with the humans. Uh, when you're a dinosaur, they don't really seem to spawn camp, mainly because humans are so vulnerable. They gotta uh, stay in uh, closer areas. I think if the humans communicated more, um, these game modes would be a little bit better. Uh, I have gotten to the chopper a few times, but it's mainly been in spite of me more than anything else. Other people are good, or the dinosaurs just don't work together as a team. <laughs> you know, that's and dinosaurs almost can get away with it, where the humans you have to work as a team. So, you know, it's it it doesn't it does encourage teamwork and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. And the game's a little bit buggy. The controls are goofy. Uh, graphics are okay. Uh, the real big problem for me is really the price and the, the online community. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to be around forever. From what I understand, the PC community is more into role-playing than um, than actually uh, playing the game. So that's a bad sign when the PC community is acting weird. And the ping times are high. This is a uh, peer-to-peer networking, no dedicated servers. Uh, so I could get... You know, that gets bad, and when the host quits, the game's over. But anyway, if I have to give it a review, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This was John.